So let me just maybe w- walk you through the recurring and the one-time charges we could do with our products. If you're going to do recurring and also with our products, this is actually a new update. You can now interchange currency into your product because previously due to Stripe APIs, we can't do it. But for now, if you're creating your checkout from the product itself or from the payment links or the order form submission, or it could be coming from the product from the forms, you can now change your currency into different currencies. So this is actually a new update. For recurring, you have the option to adjust the billing period for daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or on a custom date. For example, if you're going to maybe charge them, for example, every 10 months, every three months and stuff like that, you have the option to customize the billing period by yourself. And you have the option to limit the number of payments. Let's have, for example, this is a payment plan for 12 weeks. So you're basically setting up number of payments for this one for to stop after the 12 week payment has been collected. So that would be for the recurring. But for now, just for a test, let's put it as a one time so we don't have to set up anything. And let's have, for example, I'll call it, I'll put it as 150 AUD. For the variants, we don't need to do the to do variants, but if you're selling, maybe it could be digital products, but mostly physical products is cosmetics. It would be great if you can set up your variant, especially if you have different variety of the products you sell. But in my case, I'll just take that one out, but you can just click on save. So that is our process. We just take around a minute or two to set up. And then after you have created a product, the next thing that you're going to do is you need to head over to payment links and basically create your payment link for that exact product. So if you're familiar with the tribe card and Stripe payment link, it's actually the same thing. So let me just go to payment links. So let's create a payment link. And in the product drop down right here, you need to choose what product we're going to create for this payment link. So in my case, that would just all work. But uh, yeah, here's the price. And then from that, you have the option to maybe customize if you want to require a phone number for this checkout, if you want to collect their like physical address and stuff like that, especially if this is a physical product. And you can also allow coupon codes if you're if you're thinking of giving some discounts and stuff like that. We're actually limited with CTA for this one, so we can only maybe have the CTA pay, book, or donate. But in my case, I'll just put it on, on pay. And then you have the option to turn off branding if you want, but you can definitely have that. And for the payment mode, once you want to start collecting payments, you need to put this on live right there and that. 